Hi, Goa Flowers. I'm Anita Goa. I just wanted to give you a little update from London. I have been here almost a month. I can't believe it. It's, it seems like it's gone really fast. Uh, I am truly, truly loving it. it. The energy here is fantastic. I'm loving the people. I find them to be so kind and accommodating and friendly. I feel like when I walk out or if I pick up the phone and call someone that my head is not going to get chopped off. <laughs> Especially when you call government uh, officials, they have just been so friendly and nice. Uh, in New York, I, I never ever in my 20 years of living there had a good experience with that. So anyway. Uh, it's kind of nice to, to feel like you're being treated like a, 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 a citizen, although I haven't been a citizen here for a long time. <laughs> New York I was for 20 years, but never treated like a, a citizen that paid my taxes. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just loving it. It's been challenging. Yes, uh, there has been a lot of changes that has happened. You know, moving from Brooklyn to London, moving uh, to a different country, a different city. Uh, and I've experienced sides of myself that I had not connected with in a long time. A claustrophobic side of myself. I am completely redefining space. <laughs> Uh, but in the end, it's a great thing. I, I knew that I had to. I knew a lot of things I had to change going into this. Uh, but it's interesting that the things that you sort of anticipate will happen never happens. And then the things that you don't anticipate will happen always happens. <laughs> Oh, it's just so interesting, you know, what life brings on and as yogis or as a yogi, I just try to learn from it and um, I try not to beat myself up or beat myself down, you know, from having these panic attacks or reacting the way that I have, but just learn from uh, the situation and now I know that it's still there. And I have to be aware of it and I have to sort of act accordingly. Well, one thing that has been a huge change and one thing I did not anticipate was internet speeds. Uh, I've learned that here in London, fiber, op fiber optic internet speed uh, is not readily available in every single block. Uh, and unfortunately, the house that we are now going to be moving into uh, does not have high fiber optic access. Hard for me to say that word. It has broadband and it has a phone lines. I'm sort of feeling like I've gone back to like the 1990s. Uh, and the interesting thing is that everything here has to do with download. They always mention what the download speed is, but there's no mention of upload speed. So if you upload videos to YouTube, you need to know what the uploading speed is. And now being that we're not able to have fiber optic <laughs> capabilities, my uploading to YouTube is, I don't know, it's on hold. So all I can do now is say a few words on through my iPhone and try to upload it and even then you know it's having a real hard time uploading so this is really beyond my control but I do believe there's going to be a solution I will find one and maybe we have found one I'm not sure if you know anything about this if you upload videos to YouTube yourself uh, if you don't have fiber optic um, options and you just have broadband, tell me what service you use, tell me what you're doing. 
Uh, but then also it has to do with your postcode and what service is available there. So there's uh, a lot of things involved. I, anyway, now it's five minutes and I, I don't know if I can even upload at uh, this length of the video. But uh, I'm going to try and if it fails, I'm going to try again. Sometimes I have to try three times, but that's persistence and I have enough of that for sure. Anyway, I will be back when, whenever I can. We're moving into our cute new little house in North London. Excited about that. So let's see what happens with the uploading speed and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, I hope that you're well. I hope you're enjoying the 21 day challenge. I'm going through it myself and uh, it is fun to follow myself. Uh, and uh, let me know how it's going, how you're doing in the comment box below. And let me know if you're going through any changes and I want to hear from you. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.